The Goat House is back with Week 8 Power Rankings, ranking every NFL team from 32 to 1 every single Tuesday morning based on how they are currently playing. Let's take a look at the rankings heading into Week 8. Coming in at 32 is the New England Patriots. If you lose to the Jags in that fashion, that'll certainly keep you at 32. Uh, Panthers down one. We kind of have a rare instance of a team losing but moving up. That is the Cleveland Browns. If they got completely destroyed, it would have been tough to move them up. But the defense has been playing pretty solid. Watson goes down, and that's kind of where things eventually went downhill. The Panthers needing to move down because when they get to go against Mariota for most of that game, can't stop them. And they usually can move the ball a little bit better than they did. And they did not do that. They could not really score points in this game. So Panthers deserving of being 31 with the Browns are 30. 29, Dolphins down a spot. They're definitely a winnable game against the Colts. Defense played a little bit better than expected. Uh, offense couldn't do much against a weak defense, and Huntley goes down as well. Sure, certainly didn't help him, help them, excuse me, and Tyree Kill was a little non-existent in that game. Titans down one, played a little close with the Bills early, but then it fell apart. 27, the Raiders continue to go down. Honestly, they could they had kind of a chance in that Rams game. Not sure why they kicked the field they kicked the field goal at the end instead of going for uh you know, eight points, scoring and going for two. So that was a little odd. Um, just the energy does not feel anything near what the Raiders had at the end of last year. They're down a spot to 27. Saints down three. Yes, half the team is hurt, but that's what it is right now. They're playing pretty bad football. The defense, you know, defense is nowhere near the same as early in the year. Uh, so that's been a little disappointing. They're down three spots, 26. People got a little too hyped off, to, really hyped off those first two games. Uh, 25, Jags go up four spots. Yeah, they still need to do a lot more to continue to move up, but there's some pretty bad teams around them. So they win, got a good big win, and they end up going up four spots at 25. Giants are going to stay put. Very disappointing outing against the Eagles, especially on offense, but they've been better than the teams below them this year, looking at their resumes and how they have played. Even they played even some losses, not last week, but even some losses. They played some teams close, so they are 24. Jets, extremely disappointing. I mean, even the defense is going to start going south right now. But I, you have to, you have to think at some point everything, both sides of the ball, kind of figure it out. But man, this was supposed to be the easier part of their schedule, so uh, they're down three spots to twenty three. Rams up three spots to twenty two after beating the Raiders. Offense, was, offense wasn't overly impressive. Defense really stepping it up. But they're, they're about to get Cooper Cup back for Thursday night football against the Vikings, so could be an interesting one there. Twenty one Colts got another win. Gonna stay put though. Other teams just playing better, deserving of being ahead of them. Colts, yeah, they just did not have the offense they should have had in this game. That's probably because Richardson was back in for the first time in a bit. Flacco out, but hey, defense been stepping up a little bit. Chargers down five spots. Yeah, you may think they don't need to go down five spots for that loss, and yeah, you could be right, but it's other teams are moving ahead of them, and you'll see that other teams need to move up. And the Chargers, even though they very close to winning that game and be a controversial call away from winning that game, they couldn't score a touchdown. And they did, I felt like, got outplayed by the Cardinals. They couldn't stop the run in that game. So they're down five spots. Number 20, number 19 is going to be the Cardinals. They go up three spots. And this is where the Cardinals been chilling. They've been in the, you know, round 17, 18, 19, and they lose and look pretty damn bad. And they drop down to the 22 through 24 range. So can they stay consistent. That is the big thing with them. They'll play the Dolphins this week, who are getting getting Tua back most likely. So, well, which which teams are we going to get there? That should be a very interesting game. All eyes on that one. Uh, Cowboys down two spots. Yes, they had a bye, so it's nothing they did. It's just other teams needing to move up, winning, and looking pretty good is what happens there. And that was kind of the reason for the Chargers moving down that many spots while losing. Broncos go up two spots, two seven team. Yeah, definitely a uh, dominant win against the Saints. Saints missing half their team, uh, you know, but they, the Broncos have been a little bit better than expected there, so they're up two spots to number 17. 16, Seahawks go up two spots to 16, and they look pretty good against the Falcons. Both sides ball, you see them getting a little healthier on defense and the defense looking much better, so that was a game that no one really expected them to win. They dominate that, them, so... Thought about moving them up more, but again, looking at what they did, it's not just about the most the previous, the most recent week. It's about what they've done in their resume, and they were one of the colder teams in football before you know before last week. So see them putting something a little more consistent together here, and then they can continue to move up. But back in the top half of the league, Niners down three spots, two fifteen. They you know. Purdy didn't look too great against the Chiefs, and they were kind of hanging around in that game though. Defense was actually playing a little bit better than expected, but. Yeah, I was surprised they were favored in that one. The Chiefs just a better team, uh, but 
at the same time, Ayuk goes down injured, Debo deal, dealing with an illness, so and then obviously McCaffrey's still out. Everyone's injured, but the Niners have been on the rough end of that, obviously. But they are number 15. It's just weird seeing them with the record that they have right now. 14 Bengals starting to move up. They're starting to win some football games, and they even looked pretty decent the couple games, at least on offense, that they were, they were losing at, at the end of that losing streak there. But, yeah, getting things going. Offense has been a somewhat quiet the last two weeks, but getting it done when when it matters most. Defense has been picking it up, so it's good looks for the Bengals there. They're up three spots to 14. Number 13, the Bears had a bye. They end up staying put here. Uh, 12, the Buccaneers go down three spots. Yeah, started off really well against the Ravens, and then things went downhill when Mike Evans got hurt. Baker threw an interception, and then uh, towards the end of the game, Godwin gets hurt. Kind of a disaster. Uh, Winfield was bad in this game. Was surprised about that. The, the pass defense, the secondary is brutal right now. Now they're injured at receivers. So still, I would imagine an explosive offense under Baker, but it's not looking... They're trending in the wrong direction right now, but still have been a pretty good team this year. They're, on, they're down three spots to 12. Falcons kind of in the same boat. Been a pretty good team, uh, but uh, very much a slip up against the Seahawks in that one. I'm not sure what that was about. The defense, not really that surprising, but offensively, they were kind of moving the ball. They just weren't finishing drives. And you had this, this the fumble for Cousins that got scooped up for a touchdown. It's just a, kind of a disaster game. Just things not going their way in that one. But a big the Bucks and the Falcons already play each other again this week. So we'll see 11 versus 12. Uh, it's hard to beat a team twice that you know quickly. So that's the Falcons' case. But the Bucks are probably going to be missing. Well, they're going to be missing Godwin, but they're probably going to be missing Mike Evans as well. So it's very tough. For them, you think the Falcons have the edge, even though it's in Tampa. But that should be an interesting one for, um, yeah, trying to win that NFC South. Steelers up four spots, number 10. Russ comes in, everyone doubting that, and they beat up the Jets. And, yes, the Jets' record isn't too good. It's still a tough team to play because, you know, they have Rodgers. They have weapons on offense. They can run the ball. They can throw the ball. They have it. They're supposed to have a good defense, and the Steelers just shred them in the second half, uh, doing their thing on both sides of the ball, which is kind of new Fairly new. I mean, they did it here and there, but uh, defense has been there all season, obviously. So, very impressive one for the Steelers. They're up four. They're in the top ten right now, up four spots to number ten. Oh, another prime time game this week. Number nine, the Eagles go up two spots. They've been a little underwhelming through a stretch of the season, but a big one last week against the Giants, scoring you know a good amount of points. But the defense has been really stepping it up. Saquon shredded his old team, the Giants. That was good to see. See if they can kind of get back to playing Eagles football and kind of feed off that last game where it looked more like Eagles football there. So up two spots, number nine. Commanders up two spots. Yes, they played the Panthers, but they dominate them without Jaden Daniels and you know, most of the game. So it just feels like a good team, very well-coached team. The defense continues to get better. Yeah, the Panthers aren't great, but they're pretty decent on offense, and they just shut them down completely. So a dominant win for Washington. They're up two spots. Been one of the bigger, you know, pleasant surprises of this year. They're up two spots to eight. Good game coming this week. 8 versus 13, Commanders versus Bears. Bears are another team that's, that, that are pretty hot right now. Hopefully, Jaden Daniels plays. So we have Caleb Williams versus Jaden Daniels. be awesome. Number 7, Bills are going to stay put. Good win against the Titans. Just what, what's going on ahead of them was kind of tough to move them up. And then you got the Texans going down two spots with only their second loss of the year. A very close one came down to the wire. Uh, so they are at 6 Five, the Packers, who beat the Texans in the last seconds. Really good game from them as well. That was a good game for both teams, and there was spurts of offense and spurts of defense. So you see that these teams are re really good football teams. They can play on both sides of the ball. They can play with the heavyweights. So the Packers go up one spot to number five. They're getting better. Ravens go up a spot to number four. I mean, they there's several teams that feel like a top three team, you know, maybe a number one team. So the Ravens are one of those, but they're at number four, just three teams that have better resumes. But the Ravens are on fire lately. They beat a really good team in Tampa. You know, the Bucs, a team that stops the run, so that kind of puts the Ravens in you know, maybe a little bit of a mismatch situation. They say no to that. They're able to throw the ball. They're able to run the ball. They're able to do everything and make clutch plays on defense. Started a little slow for them. I will say if... You know, Mike Evans caught that touchdown, didn't get injured, and then Baker didn't throw that interception right away. This was going to be a totally different game. Not saying the Ravens would have lost. Felt like they really figured things out. Um, you know, so still feel like they would have won. But that, I mean, talk about a swing. That that was crazy. I mean, maybe the biggest swing or moment, changing moment of the season on any game. So I do think the Bucks actually, believe it or not, even though they got beat up in this game, I thought they would have had a chance in that one. But the Ravens, 
look really good. It feels like today's NFL fits the Ravens. The Ravens fits today's end of this year. I should say this year's NFL, which is completely different than last year. So it is fantastic news for the Baltimore Ravens, who are playing lights out as good as anyone right now. Three of the Vikings go down two spots. Tough loss against the Lions. They had it. Looked like they had it early. It looked like they had it late. Man, that three and out they had towards the end of the game was just tough. Darnold had Jefferson, just barely missed him. That could have been the game right there. Uh, and they just couldn't stop Gibbs on you know a couple plays there, uh, and that was re- really it. They you know they could they allowed too many big plays. That, that's really what it was. Uh, just big long touchdowns for them, but they still played pretty solid. It was kind of just in spurts though. It's like all right, this is it was moments where like the Vikings. Oh my god, this is that dominant team that's been this year, and it's like all right, this is kind of what everyone expected. So a little bit more complete game. They got to turn around quickly and play the Rams on Thursday night, who are going to get healthier here, but. They're down two spots to three. Thought about putting the Ravens ahead of them, but the Vikings have been so dominant. That resume still looks so, so good this year. So couldn't move them down too much. This was a tough part of the rankings. You have the Chiefs and you have the Lions. Yes, the Chiefs are still undefeated. So it's like, God, maybe you have to put them at one. Uh, it's tough to you know, see the Vikings finally go down, but they go down to the Lions. It's just eye test for me. I mean, the Lions only have one loss. It's to a good Bucks team, and they've been dominant recently. They beat a really good Vikings team in Minnesota without Aiden Hutchinson, and there was a portion of the, through this game where it's like, oh, my God, these guys are absolute juggernauts. It's kind of the, the negative, though, of this week, if there is one, is this game kind of was going their way for, for a stretch, and they looked that good. And it actually came down to a last second field goal. So that's a little tough there. You know, I I guess that, you know, you wish you, uh, you know, you wish they put them away, but then at the end of the day, they do put them away. Looking at it, looking like the best team of football recently. So I feel like it was some statement wins as well. So I feel like that they are deserving of being one. Not that the chiefs aren't Chiefs look a little sloppy here and there, but they continue to win. So those are one a one B right now. Just got to keep winning. You keep your spot if you look good. You know, if the Chiefs look dominant, you know, more dominant than the Lions at any point, even though they keep winning, then they could bump up to number one. But, yeah, Vikings, Ravens, Packers, these teams are lurking. They're right behind those teams. So we'll see what they do. Some big games coming up this week. We'll have our weekly pick show next every Tuesday night with the boys. So cannot wait for that one. We'll have our score predictions and locks throughout the rest of the week. So like, subscribe, turn notifications on, join us for all that content. We'll start adding some trade deadline content and more midseason type content So that we always do. So really excited about that. But that'll do it for this one. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.